Farrell, Princeton freshman, Loomis Chafee, class of 2020, oh, out in Connecticut. Drop the hammer, Matthew Farrell. He's gonna take the win. Great score! Hey yo, what's going on guys? Today we have a spike review comparison on deck. So we'll be comparing the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly spikes to the Nike Air Zoom Victory spikes. So these are two of the most highly anticipated spikes of 2020 and 2021. So I just wanna give you guys my thoughts on both uh, after doing a workout in each and uh, let you guys know what I think and hopefully help you guys choose which you'd wanna buy um, for this upcoming track season. Okay, so first let's look at the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spike. So Nike basically took the Nike Victory, um, no plate or anything, and lightweight, but doesn't really give you any energy return at all. And they combined this spike with the Alphafly Next Percent, Nike's latest marathon racing shoe. This shoe has air pockets in the front, a carbon fiber plate, and tons of Zoom X foam, Nike's best and latest and greatest foam. So they combined these two and got the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spike. So this is probably the most innovative spike I've ever seen. Uh, we have the Dragonfly here, but it has less going on than this bike. So this bike has air pockets in the front, a carbon fiber plate, and Zoom X foam, as, as well as the Atom Knit Upper, Nike's um, mesh-like upper, which is very lightweight and it does really well in the rain for so the water doesn't clog up the shoes. So that's a little background on the Air Zoom Victory, and this is the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly, so this has Zoom X foam running throughout the whole spike. It doesn't have a carbon fiber plate, it has a plastic plate. Still a, a stiff spike, but um, not nearly as stiff as the Air Zoom Victory, because the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly has a plastic plate. And a different upper, um, not sure exactly what the name of this upper is, but a little bit more built up than the Adam it. Okay, so that's a little rundown on both the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Spike and the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spike. So first of all, I'm going to put them on a scale for you guys and just compare the weights. So for the, for my size, 10 and a half, I'm size 10 and a half in both the spikes. I went a half size down in both of them from the size I wear in every other Nike shoe. I'm typically a size 11 in every other Nike shoe, but for these two spikes, they ran a little big, so I went a half size down. So size 10 and a half, um, the Nike Dragonfly comes in at five ounces even in my size 10 and a half again. So now on to the Air Zoom Victory Spike. Again, 10 and a half, comes in at 4.9 ounces, again in my size 10 and a half. So those are the weight comparisons. This one's just slightly lighter. Let's get into my thoughts on both of these spikes. So, first of all, what I found in my experience wearing these after a workout was that the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spike feels more springy and the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Spike feels more bouncy. And I know those two words seem like synonyms, um, from one another, but I think a distinct difference between springy versus bouncy is that springy, you have a compression phase, so where these airs, air pockets are actually compressing. So underfoot, you could feel that process where you kind of felt like you were sinking in, and then you obviously get the spring back. I didn't really like that feeling of like, that compression phase, it kind of made me feel like slow, um, and like I was sinking in a little bit too much. Um, that's just me personally, but I, again, to get that springy feeling, you kind of need that phase of compression. So that was my um, main takeaway between the two. And I say these are bouncy. I think a bouncy is like bouncing a ball on the ground. Um, so the ball doesn't really compress that much, but you just kind of pop from your step. But 
you don't really have as much of that compression phase as a shoe that's more like springy, like um, the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spike. Both great spikes, but just for me personally, I really enjoyed the bouncy feeling um, more than a springy feeling. And just one final thing, just for comfort purposes, I would say the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Spike felt way more comfortable underfoot. As soon as I put it on, it just felt natural and it, it just felt good. And I can't say the same thing about the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spike. I think you'd need some time to get used to the feeling of these airbags right under your forefoot. And it just felt a little bit unnatural at first. Throughout the workout, it became more natural a little bit, but I'd still need more time to feel it out and uh, get used to the feeling. So between these two, I would have to go with the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Spike. I would wear the spike for any distance. This is marketed as a middle distance spike, but I would wear this, and this is marketed as a longer distance spike, but I would personally wear this spike for any distance I race, 800 up to 10K. Um, really promising stuff from Nike. Excited to try this out in the upcoming season and hopefully grab some PRs. So that was just a quick review and comparison of the two. I hope you gain some value from that and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.